Luxembourg, a small country in Western Europe that borders Belgium to the west and north, Germany to the east and France to the south. The country with an area of 2,586 square kilometers is one of the smallest countries in Europe, of course, in the world. In 2022, the population of Luxembourg was more than 650,000 people, making it one of the least populated countries in Europe. Foreigners make up almost half of the population, which has had a significant impact on the economy of Luxembourg. The capital and most populous city of it, Luxembourg, is one of the four institutional seats of the European Union along with Brussels, Frankfurt and Strasbourg, and it's of several EU institutions, notably the EU Court of Justice. Luxembourg is a democracy led by the last remaining Grand Duke in the world, meaning that its ruling monarch is a duke rather than a king. But that's not the only thing that makes Luxembourg unique. But with a GDP per capita of over $140,000, double that of the United States, it's also the head of a second, third, and fourth places, with the exception of Liechtenstein and Monaco, which are usually left off these lists. It is clear that Luxembourg is a top contender and also in addition to the GDP per capita of $140,000. Luxembourg has a per capita value of $118,500 and an average household net wealth of 941,000, which is almost three times the average in the United States. So you may be also wondering why a country with a population of less than a million, landlocked and surrounded by dense forests, has achieved such enormous wealth. So let's first look at the history. The history of this country is a completely unintelligible street that its wealth and prosperity changed overnight in the middle of the 19th century. At the beginning of the 19th century, about 80% of Luxembourg's population worked in agriculture and lived hard. Poverty was such that about a third of Luxembourg's population fled to other countries in search of a better quality of life and most of them went to the United States. This was until the remarkable discovery of iron or deposits in the mid 1800s changed the country's economy forever. Mines and factories arose throughout the century and Luxembourg's lucrative steel industry was born overnight. This small landlocked country became one of Europe's leading steel producers and employment rose rapidly in the 1900s so that in the 1960s iron and steel 80% of the total export value it should be noted that Luxembourg was at the crossroads of the three most influential countries of the industrial revolution Germany, France and Belgium that these countries had no problem sending rail lines to Luxembourg to benefit from the country's steel. It will take a long time for the country to become a leading country in the steel industry leading to the emergence of companies such as Arcelor and Arbate, which to this day are among the most important steel producers in the world, so that many New York skyscrapers are made with iron. However, when the steel industry in Europe began to decline and production abroad became much cheaper in countries such as China, but it was not then to Luxembourg's flourishing but since then the industrial sector Luxembourg, which was still diversified to include chemicals, rubber and other products, which in recent decades, the growth of the financial sector has more than offset the decline in steel production. Luxembourg is the smallest country in the European Union. However, it has the largest share of immigrants in Europe, so that almost half of its workers live abroad. Approximately 160,000 people come to Luxembourg every morning and work and then return home in Germany, France or Belgium in the afternoon. In other words, these people create wealth in a country that does not live there, resulting in a much larger GDP per capita, which is what it really should be because French, Belgian and German workers do not count as part of the population. So, these immigrants must pay their taxes in Luxembourg, but their education and social rights are the responsibility of their country of residence. The same applies to retired immigrants, whose benefits are a testament to the countries that live there. The Luxembourgian government has never shared its tax revenues with local authorities on the French border, so this system is also considered as one of the keys to Luxembourg's economic growth, which is to the detriment of countries on the border. Banking is the largest sector in Luxembourg's economy. In the 2019 Global Financial Centers list, Luxembourg ranked 25th as the most competitive financial center in the world and third most competitive financial center in Europe after London and Zurich. The country specialized in the administration of cross-border funds and since the domestic market of Luxembourg is relatively small, it has stepped beyond the borders, so that the financial center of the country is largely international. In the financial sector, there are about 50,000 people in Luxembourg, of whom 50 persons work in banking. Today, less than 5% of the population of Luxembourg is unemployed, and this has a huge impact on the economy, which can be attributed to taxes. It's noted that it continues to strengthen other sectors of the Luxembourg economy and increase incomes on a large scale. So, political stability, good connections, easy access to other European centers, multilingual skilled workers, the tradition of banking sectors and cross-border financial expertise have all contributed to the growth of the country's financial sector. The ways to get rich in Luxembourg do not end there. 
Rather, there are smaller solutions that manifest themselves in the context. For example, because of the relatively small size of the country, there is no need for public roads and infrastructure. And since large amounts of money are not spent on the army, which consists of only 800 soldiers, the government does not have to waste its assets. As a day must lot to ensure that taxes are kept relatively low and that the financial environment is favorable for investors. Luxembourg is a tax a regulatory haven for the financial sector. For this reason, it gives the opportunity to virtually place their company there. For example, companies such as eBay and Skype currently have their European regional headquarters in the capital of the country, Luxembourg City, and therefore pay taxes there. This is in favor of large corporations of the world because Luxembourg taxes are much lower than their countries. So by not paying the appropriate taxes in the territories that are effectively active in it, they make huge savings and some kind of tax evasion occurs. Of course, the Luxembourg government doesn't want to at least continue to support large corporations in its tax evasion schemes. The government has decided to cut taxes on small businesses. In return, it actively worked to improve the conditions so that more tax startups can come to the country. Since Luxembourg taxes are very low, however, small amounts of taxes on large corporate profits still mean significant income for the country's government. So collectively, Luxembourg is a parasitic country that has achieved such remarkable progress due to the good positions it has provided to the world, including labor, taxes and expenses of the territories of foreign citizens living in the country. Many countries and small territories have tried to follow Luxembourg's example, some of which have achieved far more success such as Liechtenstein and some such as Barbados and Singapore have achieved less success. Luxembourg government, relying on its very successful experience since the 1980s in investing in near space orbital satellite networks, has made great efforts to make the country an attractive place for new space investments. The organization has launched a number of initiatives, including regulations, taxes, and RD direct times, to create a vibrant ecosystem in Luxembourg for space companies, from innovative satellite operators to those focusing on resource extraction from asteroids are focused, launched. At present, the space and satellite sector accounts for approximately 2% of Luxembourg's GDP, which had almost no growth three decades ago. The country's space sector now consists of more than 50 companies and two public research organizations covering various sectors of industry, which are a direct result of Luxembourg's promotion as a European Center for Commercial Space Activities. In the end, when researching this rich country, I read different opinions that some people are not satisfied with their living conditions in Luxembourg which are reasons such as expensive housing and goods. But if you have ever traveled to this country or lived there for some time, be sure to share your experience with us in the comments section. And thank you very much that you were with me so far. And if you enjoy this type of video, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications button, so you don't miss any of our latest content.